No, ma'am. Good to see you. Thank you. Oh, my bones just popped.
thanksgiving in our hearts and minds, Father. Thank you for letting us see another day, Father. We thank you for all your many blessings. Father, while we look back at our life, we kept a small hurt, harm, and damage. We say thank you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for blessing our families, God. Thank you for blessing our friends, our homes. Father, we say thank you. You've been so good and kind. Yes. You look past all our awesome wrong doing, Father. And you still allow us to see another day. Oh, yeah. Father, we say thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, we pray for our church family as a whole, Father. Yeah. Father, we don't see you no place because we realize you died in your heart. So we say, please, sir, have mercy. We pray for all the sick and sick around the world, Father. Yeah. Father, we pray for the Marine families. All the Bless you, Lord. Please, sir, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Father, we ask you, please, sir, forgive us for all our sins and wrongs, Father. Father, uh, we thank you for all things, Father. Uh, in your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
hallowed be thy name.
Amen. And so we uh, worship and we adore him. As our congregational hymn says, O come all ye faithful. And only the faithful, amen, can celebrate Christmas. Others can take part in it, but only the faithful can really celebrate Christmas. Amen. And so the song says, O come all ye It don't know what else uh, celebrate. The faithful ought to come Amen. and celebrate. Amen. Amen. The birth of Jesus. our Savior. Amen. We ask that you sing along with us. <coughs> oh, come.
the goodness of God Amen. to them. Amen. You know, you might not have uh, all that you might desire. You might not have all that you think you ought to have. Amen. But if you be truthful, you'll have to confess the Lord is good. Yes, it is. Oh, the Lord has been good to me. Brothers, amen. Some say from a mighty long way, but the Lord brought us all the way. Amen. Brought us from sickness to uh, health and, and full strength. And certainly we thank God for His goodness. When we look back, times when this pandemic was raging in such a way where uh, thousands of people were dying every day. Amen. And many of us, the Lord uh, blessed where we never was uh, afflicted with the uh, virus. Not because we were any better than anybody else. Uh, Closer to God. Amen. 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 Anybody else. And uh, I know a lot of people say, uh, uh, you know, uh, the blood. Well, a whole lot of folks are covered by the blood. Amen. 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 The number of bishops. Amen. Church of God in Christ died from the virus. Yeah. And the train had been covered by the blood. Amen. 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 You were covered by the blood. So there are some things, amen, that uh, there's laws in play. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That, uh, you know, you can claim you're covered by the blood all you want to. Right. But if you climb up on something real high and jump off, mm -hmm. okay. you, you're going to see you, amen. Yeah. You're going to suffer from the law of gravity. Amen. 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 All right. And so we thank God that He kept us through uh, that uh, season. Yeah. And we know that uh, you know that's been an uptick. Amen. But the same God who kept us in and those that did uh, uh, you know, have the virus, the Lord bless you to overcome. Amen. Amen. Without having any long-lasting effects. Amen. You know, I don't know folks and some in my family that uh, this virus affected their hearts. Amen. Amen. And other organs in their body. Amen. Amen. So we can be thankful Amen. to God. Yes, sir. Amen. If we wasn't bothered with that, we would be thankful. And if we were, Amen. and the Lord delivered us, Amen. Amen. We can be Amen. 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 Thank God for His grace. Amen. 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 Thank Him for His grace and His mercy. Amen. Amen. Some say I got so much to thank my Savior. So much. Amen. Amen. Until it's impossible for me to count all the blessings that He has bestowed upon me. Amen. And I don't have to go way back in the last 24 hours. I can't count all the blessings that He has bestowed upon me. Because how do y'all know every breath we take? Yeah. Every, yeah. every step we make yeah. is a blessing. Yeah. So I can't thank you enough for all that you've done for me in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Let's know I'm talking about going back from the day I was born yeah. up until this present moment. For the last Wow, you've done so much for me until I really can't. And my mind can, can, can conceive all 
Thank you. You know, many times we don't know how close we were to danger. Right. And the Lord moved things. Amen. Amen. Especially those that have to drive on the highway. Amen. Those that work on jobs. Amen. Where you're around a lot of machinery and people and things. Amen. Lord of Protected you. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Amen. 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 So we've got so much to thank him for. for. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, pray. Amen. As we pray our hearts to pray, it says, pray without ceasing. Yes. Amen. Rejoice always. God is to what's going on in your life. Yes. You're fine reason to rejoice. Yeah. Pray continually. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All day. Yes. You know, we talked some time ago about those uh, what we call them, breath prayers. Yeah. You know, where you just walking along, going along. Something come up and you just say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless. Pray continue. Give thanks. Not for all circumstances. But if you're in it, give thanks. Amen. Give thanks in all circumstances. Not for. For this is God's we for you in Christ Jesus. As we were in Sunday school this morning, there was a passage in our lesson that talked about how uh, John, uh, the hand of God, was on him. Amen. The hand of God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. And today, as I was sharing this morning, again in the 14th chapter, Amen. It, it says that, uh, what? It says that uh, uh, he was beheaded. Y'all yeah. right. know the story of uh, John uh, yeah. yes. Baptist, her uh, wife uh, had a daughter and she danced for the Harris so to uh, ask for John's head on the charger. So the man, the Bible says, the hand of God was upon him. A few chapters down the line it says, and they brought his head to Harry on the charger. Cut off. Amen. I'll share this morning, look. Uh, the worst even when the worst happened to us, if the hand of the Lord is upon us, we'll be all right. If the worst should happen, if the hand of the Lord is on us, somebody might say they don't know by God, they might read that and say, I don't know. The Bible says the hand of the Lord was on him. And then next he turned around and found out his head cut off. Amen. God will see us through. How many of y'all believe the Lord will see us through? And there is nothing that the enemy can do to us. Amen. Without getting permission from God. And then with that permission, God always sets a boundary. He told Satan and Job, you can only go this far with it. You can touch his body and health, but don't touch his soul. Don't kill him. Amen. How y'all glad God sets the boundary? Amen. And so as we 
prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. We're remembering all of those names and all the prayer lists and people who have sent word to us to pray for them. Amen. Some of them are sick in their bodies. Some have other issues going on. Some have some troubles and problems that they're dealing with. But the God we serve, He specializes in all things. There is nothing impossible with Him. All power is in His hands. Amen. And He told us that whenever we needed Him, all we have to do is just call Him. Amen. And He would come to our aid. How do y'all believe that he's a God that's faithful to his promise? Yes, 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 yes. And you can be a witness yes, that when you call him, yes. he heard you. Yes. As we gather this morning, we're praying for our own mother, Old Rivers, the yes. family, we're praying that God will continue to touch yes. her body yes. and strengthen her each day. Yes. We pray for Mother Moore Williams and family, Sister Bobby. Jean McCoy, we're praying for her. Sister Mabel Wolfalk, Sister Ruth Walker, and her daughter Stephanie in the hour of bereavement, and uh, her nephews there in uh, Texas, uh, Sister Walker's uh, daughter, uh, Brenda Woods, who was fertilized uh, on Saturday. And, uh, Texas. And so uh, our prayers were with Amen Sister Ruth, as well as her daughter Stephanie here that was not able to go due to her own illness, was not able to attend the funeral. And so we are praying comfort and strength for the entire family. We pray for Sister Denise Towns and family, Brother J.B. George and family. Or Holloway, Sister Evelyn Jones, Brother Lawrence Gary, Miss Hallie Owens, Miss Claudette Dandridge, Deacon Ronald Glasper, Pastor Cornel Brown Sr., and uh, Miss Ramona Glasper, Miss Marvel Coates, Miss Andreas Williams, Miss Stephanie Go Forth, Amen, the Baker family, Miss Sherry. Uh, Williams, Ms. Elwood Strickland, Ms. Eloise Gray, Ms. Chanel Bentley, Ms. Valerie Fuller, Mr. Ricky Williams, Mr. Holly and Ms. Pearl Jackson, Ms. Brenda Woods, Ms. Linda Meredith, Ms. Claude Robinson, Mr. Marcus Gardner, and son, Ms. Regina Gardner, Mr. Leonard Johnson, Ms. Ms. Diane Coleman, Ms. Shirley Butler, Mr. Richard Butler, uh, Mr. Ed Branch, Ms. Glenda Brown, Ms. Patty Hayes, and Mr. Carl Dozier. Certainly, we thank God uh, for uh, Brother uh, Deacon Dozier's grandson, who's doing uh, much better and returned back to school. Amen. And so we thank God uh, for that. We continue to pray for him. Amen. And the Lord will strengthen him each day. Amen. 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 There's so many others whose names were not called. We're praying for them. Sister Kim Williams, who is hospitalized, who's at home uh, now. And certainly we're praying for uh, her. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will continue to touch and minister him <coughs> to her. To all of the great families, we pray God's confidence, strength, yes, yes, yes. be upon uh, them. Amen. amen. We're praying for, amen, our leaders, world leaders, our presidents, and our senator and congress. Yes. That the Lord might give them the wisdom to yes. work together yes. and yes. for the betterment of the people. We pray uh, God's blessings and certainly we thank God for the turn, the return of uh, 
Brittany, I think it was, uh, Ryan, Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. Russia, Amen. Amen. so we prayers were offered up for her, yes. and we were praying for uh, Paul Weaver and some of the other people yes. that are being healed uh, in these uh, prisons, yes. Yes. and uh, they too will soon be released yes. and home. Amen with their families. Amen. Amen. We pray for uh, the situation not only in St. Louis, but all across the United States. Uh, people are killing folks. Uh, Amen. <coughs> Gun violence. Uh, Amen. We pray. We pray God will keep each one of you as we uh, go through this Season and our shopping and going in and out, that the Lord would protect us. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this another opportunity to approach your throne of grace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, we come with thanksgiving thank in our hearts, thank you. thanking you for this another opportunity yes. to call upon your most holy and high name. Oh, yes. God, we say thank you. For we have no other God other than you. One who's real. One who can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. And God, we say thank you. We thank you for a mind to pray. For you said men ought always to pray and not to faint. And so God, here we are now. Come approaching your throne, asking you to remember and have mercy upon all the names that were called today. And those names that were not called, that you would just remember them. Have mercy upon them. Those that are sick, oh God, we pray that you would touch their lives. Even as we pray, we pray your healing virtue would move upon the hearts and minds and the bodies of those that are sick. We know you're able. We realize that we don't have to send you anywhere. We know God everywhere. And that you can just speak the word. And healing will be dispatched all over the world. And God, we say thank you. God, we pray for those persons that are facing surgery even on tomorrow. And know you're not as their Lord and Savior. As they turn their face to the wall, cry, God, we pray that you have mercy upon them, that you would touch their bodies, that you would bring the healing to their bodies, and restore them back to their health and to their families. God, you're able. We pray for those that are incarcerated. We know you're God everywhere. God, we pray that you would just Work things out for them. We know you are able. You said it's not your will that people be in bondage. And so God, you're able to set the captive free. So have your way today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being a just and a righteous judge. A judge that will judge right. Uh, we say thank you. Have mercy upon those in the nursing homes. That you would, oh God, be with them. Yes, Those who have simply been dropped off, yes. forgotten about. Uh, For God, you said in your word that you would never leave us yes, nor forsake us. Yes. That you would never abandon your yes, people. Yes. That you will be by our side. Yes, and God, even in the nursing home, yes. we pray that you would come so close to yes. the people there. That they can feel your presence oh, yeah. all in their room. Oh, yeah. God, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you for all the things. We pray for our children yes. and grandchildren that yes. you will protect them, oh God, yes. as they go to and fro. Oh, yeah. Now that we realize that they can't be locked up in, oh, yeah. at home in rooms, yes. but they have to go out oh, yeah. among other people, yes, Lord. oh God of their own ages many times. Yes. So God, we pray that you would protect them oh, yeah. from the senseless yes. violence yes. that's going on in the streets. Oh, yes. And 
God, we pray that you would give them a mind, yes. oh God, to do the right things, yes. to make right decisions, yes. oh God. We pray, oh God, for the parents, yes. that you would give them strength, oh God, yes. in raising their sons and daughters. Yes. God, we realize that when children get a certain age, yes. that they make their own choices. Yes. But we know that you are able to yes. guide and govern their hearts and minds that they make the right decisions. God, we say thank you. We pray for our entire church family, for each member. Lord, for those who seemingly become careless and unconcerned, let them realize that it's getting late in the evening and the sun is going down. Time for all of us to be about our Father's patience. Help us to understand that time is winding up. Thank you, Lord. Bless us and keep us. Bless us in our worship, not only in our worship here, but in churches that are gathered all across this natural area, that your Holy Spirit will abide with them, and that God, you will save those that are seeking salvation. Bless your word as preachers stand and declare your word. Oh God, let it touch the hearts and minds of the people, convicting the sinner of their sin until they come crying, what must I do to be saved? Lord, we pray that I'm coming here not in vain. We pray that our Savior, praying and preaching is not in vain. Help your people, God. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray, one for the other, for we all stand in the need of prayer. Amen. So that we all pray for it. That was something I was talking to Sister Deborah and uh, Sister Tio last week, something that happened, and it really just stayed on my mind for quite a while when we were at the Sunday School outing. And they understood uh, what I uh, said, what we was talking about. It didn't mean nothing uh, bad or mean-spirited uh, toward anyone. And as we were uh, leaving, Amen, Sister Bobby, uh, we were leaving out of Cracker Barrel, and she uh, looked at me and said, uh, I want to invite you uh, to come and worship with us at the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church. And I said to her, I'll be there. And I laughed about it, and I thought about it, and I said, Lord, I've been trying to get, that's the very thing I've been trying to get people to do for years, to invite folks to come to church. And Bobby did it, she comes to be invited to come to the New Salem Missionary Baptist Church. By the way, come to worship. I told you, I'll be there. Look, when you invite them, they don't need to be invited because they don't come no way. Well, you don't know what folks don't do. You invite them. Whether they come or not, you do what you're supposed to do. Invite them. And in the way she did it, and the spirit she did it, you know what I mean? She really wanted me to come. <laughs> I felt. Amen. And so, you know, if we all would take that, that same, amen, invite folks to come. And sometimes people in their talks, they talk about the church is empty. Well, the, the thing is, well, what are you doing? Amen. To fill up some of these empty people. Are you inviting anybody to come? Be with you in the worship. Amen. Amen. Let me uh, sit down. But brothers and sisters, if I had a church that I was ashamed of, I would move my mother. Amen. 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 If I had a pastor that I was ashamed of, that I would invite my friends or families to come, I would move my ministry. If I was ashamed of the church. Amen. 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 And so let us keep in mind as we are 
with our family and friends to extend that invitation. Amen. Once you do that, you've done what the Lord said, told you to do. Amen. It's up to that person, and you never know. You ever had somebody else to come to you and say, I'm, I'm going to ask you to do something. I know you ain't going to do it, but I'm going to ask you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you anyway. I know you ain't going to do it. You don't know what people are going to do. Right. Until you ask. It might not come the Sunday that you ask it. But you don't know how the Lord is going to work with oh, yeah. that person. Oh, yeah. Amen. Through the weeks. Yeah. And bring back to their members, you know, brother so and so, sister so and so, invited me to come to church. And sometimes, and I say it out to you, I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. And you look up and here they come walking wow. yes. through the door. Yes. Amen. So let us be mindful and invite people to uh, worship with us. Uh, Sister Nina McNeil is having a birthday on the uh, 14th. Amen. And uh, Sister Bobby Jenner, of course, having a birthday on the 15th. And so let it be out all next week. And so certainly we want to wish them amen. There is a card, a Christmas card, in the uh, back. I think Harry placed it on the uh, podium out there. And for those that might want to sign it, uh, it's a card that we have for uh, Brother Marcus uh, Gardner and from the church. It's a Christmas card. And those that want to uh, sign it, you can uh, do so. It's in the back. We ask that you would sign it. And I think uh, Sister Joyce says she wants to try to mail it off by Wednesday. And so if you want to sign it, uh, I think that's a good sure That's a pen or something to write with back there. And we ask that you would sign it. Uh, no particular, because uh, it's not big enough for the whole lot of the right of paragraphs. Exactly. <laughs> sign your name. We have several cards. Uh, there's a card from uh, Brother J.B. George and the family. Open your hearts at Christmas. And not just for one day. Open your heart at Christmas. Let this beautiful feeling start. For caring, generosity, and love we treasure through the year. Don't wait until Christmas to share it with those you hold dear. May the beauty of nature and brighten your Christmas and all the days of your years. And he's got written here to all the members of the New Salem. Uh, may your Christmas, your time be so full of love, yours always, J.B. George and family. And we have another Chord. This is some of the personal chord from uh, Sister Hallie Owens, who a pastor who makes a difference. The world is the world in which we live isn't so different from the one to which Christ came. It still desperately needs the hope that only a Savior can bring. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hebrews 5 16. Thank you. Thanks for all you do, Pastor, to inspire and lead us to live and share his love. God bless you and Christmas and all of these. Happy uh, owns. So we thank God for these uh, Christmas uh, cards. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let us continue to uh, keep one another lifted up in uh, prayer. Again, when they mentioned that uh, Sunday is the Sunday we usually have our uh, uh, Christmas tree, and I don't know whether uh, there's anything planned to do uh, something uh, for uh, that. Amen. Uh, pandemic cost us a, a lot of things. Amen. 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 
they, they, I'm so glad the pandemic didn't steal my joy. Amen. Amen. Didn't steal my joy. Amen. 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 We ought to make sure that we don't let the pandemic rob us of nothing. Amen. Amen. Don't let it steal our souls. Yes, Don't let it steal our joy. Don't let it steal our amen, celebration yes, yes. of the Christ child. Yes. Amen. Yes. God bless you. I say this. Uh, I don't know who's going to be saying today, but uh, amen. Whoever comes, certainly we will be accepting of them and whatever they decide uh, to do.
Does everyone thank our choir? And being warned of God in a dream mm -hmm. that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Salvation. Salvation, the miracle of 
was Christmas. Oh, Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other man under heaven given among me whereby we must be saved. And then Jesus himself says in Luke 19 and 10 For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Then Paul says in 1 Timothy 1.15 Paul writes, This is a faithful saint and worthy of all acceptation that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Paul said, Of whom I am Mm -hmm. so we might say the biggest sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so it's been confirmed factually that salvation, amen, is the miracle of Christmas. Oh, yes. Jesus came to save. That's the miracle of Christmas. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He didn't come to that all of us might be millionaires all right. All right. or have uh, big homes. He came to save us. Yeah. 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 And that's the miracle of Christmas. Yeah. 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 Think about it. Amen. That he saved even me. You can say he saved even me. Mm -hmm. In spite of mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The person I was. Mm -hmm. He came to save sinners. Somebody said, why did he come to save sinners? Mm -hmm. Well, he came to save sinners because there was nobody else to be saved. Mm -hmm. We all were sinners. Yeah, right, yeah. Have I got a look? Amen. And going back to that uh, 14, that second uh, chapter and verse, well, let me go back to one and read to two. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men. Uh -huh. From the east yeah, yeah, yeah. to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. In verse 2, saying, Where is he that is born? Mm -hmm. King of the Jews. All right. For we have seen his star mm -hmm. in the east yeah. and are come. To worship him. Mm -hmm. They were known as wise men. Mm -hmm. Some of your Bible says magi. Mm -hmm. They specialized in astronomy. Uh -huh. They studied the stars. Mm -hmm. Like we have people that uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, the 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 horoscopes, you know, <laughs> amen, study of stars, <laughs> amen. Well, they were astronomers. Uh, they studied the stars. And they came 
from the east. Mm -hmm. Usually when the Bible talks about from the east, today they talk about places like Turkey, mm -hmm. Iran, mm -hmm. Iraq, <clears throat> amen. We call it the Middle East, mm -hmm. the Far East. All right. They came from the east to Jerusalem following a star. All right. Amen. All right. For we have seen his star yes. in the east. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And are come yes. to worship him. All right. Herod was troubled. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Calling the chief priests and tribes Demanding of them mm -hmm. where the Christ child should be born. Mm -hmm. Have I got it? Amen. Look, let's look at these three people. The Magi, amen, were seeking the king. Mm -hmm. They came seeking the king. Herod was afraid of the king Amen. and wanted to destroy him. Mm -hmm. The priests were ignoring the king. These priests knew the scriptures and pointed others to the Savior. He'd be born in Bethlehem. They pointed others to the Savior. Mm -hmm. But they would not go to worship him themselves. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Mm -hmm. just like, that's just like uh, somebody telling somebody that we're a good church here. Right. And they don't never go. Mm -hmm. Have a good mm -hmm. They pointed others to the Savior, but they would not go to worship him themselves. Now this is something, uh, listen. They were five miles at mercy from the city where the Christ child was to be born. And yet, they did not go to see or worship him. Just think about it. Sometimes people have an excuse. I don't go to church because church too far. Y'all know I live in Missouri. Yeah. I live in O'Fallon. I don't go to church because church too far. Amen. But these wise men, Amen. Well, only, and I know that might be hard for some of us to believe. From Jerusalem, from Bethlehem, amen, from where they were to Jerusalem. All right. It was just five miles. All right. Almost like the, the distance from here to St. Mary Shopping Center. All right. Five miles. Miles. Well, I know they didn't have uh, uh, automobiles, means of transportation, but five miles. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's walking. Just. Y'all got me? Well, let me just take my time. There's people, and we often talk about it, there's churches on every corner. All right, all right. Amen. Sometimes two churches in one community. Amen. 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 And folk can live right around the corner Amen. from the church. Amen. And won't go. Amen. 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 They were so close, but yet far away. In Matthew 15 and 8, Jesus says this. And I think this fits the priest. 
his people draw nigh unto me with their mouth. And honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. I think that is the proof. They are the temple and they are sharing the word of God with the people in the temple every day. With their mouth. With their lips. But their hearts is far from me. Oh, yes. Now we got to be. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. And verses 5 and 6. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. They knew what the word said. Oh, yes. They knew what the Christ child was. They pointed others, but they would not go themselves. Amen. Now they got witness. Amen. Amen. Then Herod questions the wise men concerning the time the star appeared. When did you see the star? Now they got witness. In verse 8, he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child, the young child. And when he have found him, bring me word again that I may come and Worship him also. All right. Bring me word that I may come and worship him also. When you find him, let me know that I may come and worship him. Look, Herod had no mind to worship. For he looked at him, the Christ child, as being a threat to his reign as king. He was threatened by a baby. And his intention was to find him, to eliminate him, to kill him. Have I got a witness? Amen. And he left Herod's presence following the star. No, God always had a man, a way for his people. You know, go back and remember when the children of Israel was leaving Egypt. He led them by day, but with a pillar of cloud. And as the cloud moved, they move. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. When the clouds stop, Amen. they stop. Amen. They try to follow the leadership. Amen. And when the clouds start moving again, they got up and moved with the clouds. Oh, yeah. And then when it became dark, yeah. God provides for his people. Yes, he does. Day and through the night. Yeah. At night it became but a pillar of fire that led them through the night. And now we have a storm that's leading these wise people to fall, to find the Christ. Have we got a witness? Amen. They left Herod. Hmm. Amen. Left his presence following the star. Well, mm -hmm. listen, let me keep this in mind. Having every intent upon finding the Christ child. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus. And bringing word back 
to her where they had found him. They didn't pretend to go back and tell her where the child was. For they did not know the evil of Herod's heart. They didn't know that he, his intent was to not to worship the child, but to kill the child. Have I got a witness? Amen. Amen. Verse 10 says, When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Have I got a witness? Amen. And then in verse number 11. Amen. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Yeah, yeah. Have we got this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an 11th verse. Note, they're no longer in a span, but in a house. Have we got this? Yeah. Jesus is no longer, Mary and Joseph are no longer in a span. But now they're in his house. Right. And Jesus is no longer a baby in a manger. But a young child. Have we got a witness? Amen. That's something for us to consider. Amen. Time had passed. And he wasn't no baby now. He might have been crawling, might have even been walking now. Have I got a witness? Because now they're in a house. Amen. And Jesus is not mentioned as being a man, a baby, but a child. Have I got a witness? Amen. And they fell down and worshipped him. They didn't worship Mary. But they fell down and worshipped him. Amen. Well, Lord, help me. Amen. As a the Catholic uh, church, even today, is trying to uh, establish this thing about uh, Mary being a deity and, and the worship of Mary. Amen. Amen. But know that they didn't fall down and worship Mary. Right. Amen. They fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, their wallets, their purses, pocket notes, they presented unto him gifts. Three gifts are mentioned. Gold and frankincense and myrrh. This text teaches us that giving is a part of worship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't just worship and got up off their knees and said, God bless y'all, mm -hmm. and went their way. Right. But giving is a part of worship. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Lord, uh, place it in my mind that we need to say this to the church today. Whenever we have a worship service, don't ever rob the people of the privilege to give. Have a God Don't ever say to the people, well, we ain't going to take up no offering in this service. Amen. Amen. Church should never do that. Rob the people. But how many of y'all know because we are blessed through our giving? And that some folks left home with a mind to come to church. And to give. 
So the church should never rob the people of an opportunity to give. Have I got it? It's in the text. You really have not worshipped God aright without giving. Have I got it? Amen. Amen. You really haven't worshipped God aright without giving. And you know, uh, something that uh, happened here in the last uh, several years, we hear a lot of this. And I don't know where people get it from, but it's in the Bible. Uh, give God a clap. Folks, oh. <laughs> start clapping. Yeah. Amen. Church can't pay no bills with no clap on. <laughs> Just like you can't go to the store and buy no groceries with no clap on. <laughs> Man, they ain't, man, they ain't got folks that going to give God a wave off. <laughs> How we got a wave? Wave off and don't pay no bills in the church. How we got a wave? We might learn really it takes money to operate. We come here every Sunday just giving God a clap off and a wave off. We'll be sitting up here in the dark. How we got a wave? Worship, giving is a part of our worship. Tell me, Amen. Look at the gifts. Gold represented his deity and purity. Gold. Frankincense, the fragrance of his life. Jesus' life was a sweet-smelling fragrance to God. Paul talks about our lives ought to be a sweet-smelling savor to God. And then there's myrrh. Amen. Myrrh. His sacrifice and death. Look up that word, myrrh you'll find out that mirth was used for embalming fluid. Amen. Mirth was used for embalming fluid. You know, but they still used to pay. Amen. All the deceits. That's strange. That's strange. Uh, strange kid. I don't think I know how to take it. <laughs> I, you know, if somebody brought my newborn baby some gold, well, I, I can appreciate that. Somebody even brought some incense. I can appreciate that. But if you brought for my baby a bottle of embalmed fluid, hey, man. Hey, man. That ain't going to go too well. Tell me how it but that's what the text said. They brought gold, frankincense, and mirth embalming mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because the Christ yeah. child yeah. and it was to die. And then let me just say this. I can take my time and uh, uh, let me give you a fair warning. Uh, uh, amen. If you want to follow the preaching, uh, you really need to bring our Bibles. Amen. Because I'm preaching directly from the Bible, not like right. you to see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. All of these gifts yeah. were expensive. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Could be sold. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, uh, because Joseph and Mary, they were going to need some money. Mm -hmm. By the time you get to the 13th verse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the angel of the Lord had a uh, Appeared unto him and told Joseph to take the young child and his mother to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And even back then, you couldn't go nowhere without no money. Mm -hmm. So that gold and frankincense and mirth was something that could be interchanged mm -hmm. for money. Mm -hmm. Have I got a witness? Amen. Now let me go back to where we are. Amen. Mm -hmm. Second Samuel 24 and 24. How do y'all? 
most of us left home. Come to church with a mind to give. We knew we were going to give. And I've been around church and church folks for a long time. I've heard just about anything. Mm -hmm. and I've heard people ask folks, give me something so I can put it in church tomorrow. <laughs> I'm talking to a kid asking me, their mother, I'm talking about some grown folks asking uh, their, their friends or whatever, give me something so I can put it in church tomorrow. <laughs> Have I got a witness? Second Samuel. 24 and 24. Let me just paraphrase it. Samuel is saying, I will not give an offering unto the Lord. My God. Can I just paraphrase it? They don't cost me something. Have I got a witness? I will not give an offering to the Lord my God that don't cost me nothing. Giving is a sacrifice. Amen. Amen. I will not give the Lord an offering that don't cost me nothing. Somebody gave me a piece of money to put in church. And I gave a piece they gave me and kept mine in my pocket. I will not give Samuel to say that in 2 Samuel 24 and 24. I will not give the Lord an offering, your Bible said a burnt offering, that costs me nothing. Amen. With every intent to return to heaven. Come on, come on. Amen. It brings us to our text. And being warned of God in a dream. And they didn't attempt to go back. But they were warned of God in a dream. Now look, let me stop there. I don't know whether God gave all three of them the same dream or just one of them the dream. But the text said, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to heaven. They departed unto their own country another way. Have I got it? They departed to their own country another way. Salvation, the miracle of Christmas. What is this miracle? Salvation. The miracle is its ability to turn men and people around. I'm not leaving. If the Christ child born Christmas, the miracle of salvation is his ability to turn people around. <clears throat> Have I got a witness? And they parted to their own country another way. Amen. Redirecting their lives. Amen. Amen. Surely there's something that they saw in the Christ child that changed them internally upon seeing and worshiping him and receiving a word from God. In a dream, they went another way. Now I got it. That's the miracle power of Christmas and the Christ child. Now I got a witness. Oh, have mercy on me. I went. Let me, let me do an old song. I know what you're doing. I went to the church one night. Have mercy on me. Come on, brother. And my heart wasn't right. Yeah. Was and something got a hold of me. Y'all got me? Oh, yes. Amen. Anybody be a witness? Oh, yes. That's most of our story. Because none of us were born to say 
Hallelujah. We went to church sometimes, whether it was night or day, and our hearts were right. And through the preaching of the gospel, something got a hold of us. Have I got a good thing? all about testimony. I left home a sinner. After my encounter with Christ, the Savior, by faith through the preaching of the gospel. Remember, I left home a sinner. I went home another way. Have you got with me? I went home with a different attitude. A different behavior. I went home with a noticeable change. Yeah. Help me out of it. Yeah. Change in my character. Yeah. Whereas the people in the house uh -huh. could recognize that something yeah, is different about you. Yeah. Yeah. Help me out of it. Yeah. I went home with a noticeable change yeah. in my character. Uh -huh. I had something on the inside that was reflecting on the outside. And folk knew that something happened. Have we got a witness to me? Y'all remember that song Shirley Caesar sings, uh, uh, amen, that uh, she talked about when her and her brothers and sisters or whatever would go to church on Sunday. And how when they come home, they would get in the backyard. And they would uh, imitate what went on in church. Oh, the brother would imitate the preacher. And all they would imitate Sister Sally dancing. And they was in the backyard shouting hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sure she would tell the story that she was gone. She was praising God. She was praising God. So after a while, her brothers went to the house and said, Mama, something happened to Shirley. Something got to be. Something happened to her. Amen. She started out playing. Yeah. And yeah. Got a yeah. and that's all about testimony. Yeah. 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 Something, Something yeah. on the inside yeah. Yeah. reflected on the outside. Yeah. 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 Oh, what a change. What a change. Anybody like yeah. it? Anybody can testify that a change? Come home with me. Since I found Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful change. Anybody been changed? Change. And I'm glad about it. Come on, me. But let me testify. I wasn't a real bad person. But I was bad. Because I didn't know Jesus yeah. as my Savior. Yeah. I went to church yeah. and it really was one night. Yeah. Tell me I'm with yeah. And my heart wasn't right. Yeah. And I heard the gospel. Yeah. Have mercy on yeah. And I came to Jesus. Yeah. Have mercy on Just
So faith is God. Have mercy, Lord. That you still appeal to me. Come on, Allow the purity in any move. Help me out with this. I heard the songwriter say, The things I used to do, I don't do no more. Help me out with this. Because he turned me around and started me on another way.
God. Yes. God had the first half of Eden. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. the children of Israel yes. by the cloud and day and day by the sun yes. and fire by night. Yes. And now now it is. Amen. The wise by moving star that leads him to the Christ child. Have we got a witness? Amen. 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 And when you follow his direction, Amen. you ain't got to worry about getting lost. lost. Amen. If you follow his direction. Amen. Sometimes, maybe I'm not say this, sometimes me and that uh, lady uh, on that navigation thing. <laughs> we, we, we did it too. <laughs> Sometimes we find myself talking to her. So, talk to her. I don't want to turn to you. Talk about that. I'm lost. I'm trying to tell you which way you want to tell her. I don't want to turn to you. <laughs> Amen. Why are you waiting so late to tell me what to turn? I can't it. My wife will be a witness. I'll be a Why do you wait so late? Wait till I get right up on the exit and talk about turn. Amen. But thanks be to God. God has the first navigation system. That if we would follow it, it will lead us. Just like it led the wise men to the Christ child. That same navigation system, which is in the person of the Holy Spirit, Amen. will lead every sinner yes. to Christ, oh, yeah. to salvation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For Jesus said, no man can come unto me except the Spirit yeah. draw him. Amen. 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 The doors of the church are open to the mighty sound that are listening to my voice today. Amen. You need to know that that same God who provided direction <laughs> to the wise men to lead them to the place where the Christ child would be found. That same God is speaking to your heart, your mind today, leading you to the same Christ child for the salvation of your soul. And if you follow him, if you follow him, he'll lead you to salvation. Salvation, the miracle of Christ. If you are here, you know about Christ as your Savior. Come to Jesus while you have this chance. If you're in your home or somewhere else, just listen. Come to Jesus while you have this chance. While the blood is running warm in your plate. And while you feel the function of the Holy Spirit. Give your life to Jesus. You may come by another candidate for baptism, Christian experience. The day you hear my voice, heart not your hearts. The doors of the church. He's all right. God bless you. God bless you. Let us continue praying one for the other. And let us continue to be that light that will lead others that are in the dark to the light of our Christ. Now we got this. People need salvation. People need to be saved. And it's God's will that all men be saved. But we know all men won't be saved. But it's God's will that they 
Have I got a witness? And when you think about all the killings and things that are going on around us, amen. People are dying every day without Christ as their Savior. I often hear the Bishop of William says, there's nothing wrong with dying. All right. Just don't be caught dead without Jesus. Amen. 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 No, because you get caught dead without Jesus. There's no hope for you. And this world is certainly not the world to come. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Certainly, we're praying for one another that the Lord will bless us through this uh, Christmas uh, season. Amen. And I'm praying that the Lord will keep each one of you safe as you go in and out of stores and places you have to go uh, for celebration. I'm praying that God will watch over you, that he will keep all her calming angels from you, and not only from you, but I pray for your family, your children and grandchildren, that God will keep them safe. Y'all know some mean people. Y'all doing some terrible things. But through it all, God is able to keep and to protect. Let us receive the blessing, the offering, and the benediction. God, Father, we thank you for the offerings that have been given. Or you say your word that God loves a cheerful giver. So we pray the blessings upon those who have made the sacrifice and given. God, we receive the gifts with thanksgiving. Bless your people. Let us go from this place proclaiming that we have seen the glory of God. Believing that there is a light that shines in the darkness which the darkness shall not overcome. And may the love of Christ, the joy of the Spirit, and the peace of the Christ child be with you this Christmas and evermore. Amen. 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 Amen.